Okay, so let's start. It's a good idea actually because I usually play knight f6. Guy is smart. And in this concrete game. Then I'm just gonna play whatever. A6. Takes. Actually, a good question what does white achieve here because um, black gets a bishop pair and um, white is already. White is. He should prove what was his idea about giving up the bishop pair. Of course, he's gonna make some attack on the queen side. And maybe he will be successful about doing that. <laughs> maybe not. Uh, well, yes, nowadays it's a good question what is my main job because uh, I'm still actually playing um, like I still mainly consider myself as chess player, not as chess coach, but yes, uh, we can say that um, nowadays I spend more time on uh, training rather than playing. But still, I prefer to play. Actually, he was he did a good idea trading this bishop. Also, actually, also I have something. Uh, I have taken here. Queen h4 and knight d5 now. Knight g5 is not something I'm afraid because simply h6. Also, then he can do knight e4. That was maybe something I could stop by playing h6 immediately. But actually, he can reach e4 square anyway, so okay, not something I can really stop. But now, knight f6. Knight f6 is quite uh, annoying what to do. Of course, I can just play f5, for example. Forcing him to take on f6. And I will be better. Alternative, I think queen d8, but knight e3 is just bad because of knight f6. Takes, takes. Maybe knight e3, knight f6, g takes f6. Maybe he has queen h6. Okay, let's make it easier. Also, of course, I don't really want to lose uh, this powerful knight, but okay, what to do? Still, actually, my bishop is good. I can place it to this diagonal and pressing his king. Queen h5 doesn't really make sense. I don't understand this. Ah, okay, he was aiming c5, but I can play rook f5, and next move I can grab the pawn on b3. Then he has queen e7, oh, but queen e7 is not dangerous. Oh, also, I can place my queen to d5 now and place my bishop to c6. It's quite good. Um, I think quite good position for me. Important thing not to allow him doing something. Serious. Very passive. And maybe now I can do e5. Looks promising. Because if he plays rook a7, simply rook f7 then. Rook a7 then rook f7. 
and uh, if he takes on e5 then i can just take by the rook and uh, win in the knight on e2 so it seems like uh, i get a free pawn of course he can do some but I, another problem for white that actually after i'm going to take on f4 then next move i push f3 and uh, crush in this diagonal uh-huh that makes sense now if e takes f4 i don't really have time to do what i wanted so i have to take with my rook and now he can do knight e4 that idea but actually what his plan about c4 it's my only thing i'm afraid and uh, <laughs> i hope it will be fine because previous time when I played on Saturday, it was a lot of, like, it was full of blunders. What's this? Six, I eight. Then just three. So Saturday was full of blunders on Lee Chess. Also there I took, uh, like, some time to time I took um, Berserk there. Well, after rook f1, I believe. I forgot about time, I didn't see because of microphone. <laughs> Oops. He can do knight f7 now, but then I just take. Simply queen b1 covering diagonal. Ooh, it was <laughs> it's just I didn't pay attention to time at all, and uh, I was close to lose some time. So at the moment flight is quite good. <laughs> winning winning one game in a row is always a good thing. No, I'm. I live in Russia. Yes, nowadays there are many. Many Russians and non-Russians who 
went to study to the United States, this uh, St. Louis uh, University, Dallas University, Some years ago, I, I don't remember, maybe maybe six, seven years ago, I also was close about this uh, perspective. But then um, eventually it didn't happen. <laughs> As probably he is preparing for uh, the Grand Prix since he qualified for um, he qualified from Grand Suisse. He took uh, third place in Grand Suisse. Well, there is nothing good for me from the opening. Leg has bishop pair. Also, at least I have a space advantage. Place my knight to d5, enter. That's a good idea by him. You find d4 square, so you can even take on d5 now. Let's go back. I want to have a knight at least to fight for the d4 square and not allowing him to take on d5 himself. Queen f6 doesn't really look good because now he cannot take by the bishop on d4. If pawn takes, then I have knight b5 attacking d4 and just winning the pawn. If queen d4, then, uh, then it's a good question. What is better to do? Either to take on d4 first or start with knight b5. Both options seems to be seems to be good. Probably it's better to take on d4 myself, so then my rook will be placed on uh, will be placed on d1 protected and not on d2, so not having ideas of placing his bishop to c3. Now whatever he does, uh, c takes or bishop takes, I I will go for knight b5. And since uh, this guy spends quite much time, I don't really know why. 
what to think about here it's a good question i mean even on the previous moves now it's a good question it's always it's always very serious uh, dilemma or when you have um, two three uh, moves that gives you advantage i can do f4 taking away his bishop and that looks good also then maybe he can do a6 knight c7 uh, by the way yes another alternative is just to play knight at a c7 right now grabbing the exchange knight takes d6 is pretty good so everything is pretty good and now it's a question what what to choose f4 seems to be interesting actually i think because even if a6 then i take on d6 first and if he takes on d6 then rook d6 and now b6 is kind of weak also of course he can do b5 so maybe it's not a big advantage but rook e6 is definitely not a move to play simply i can take and rook d1 rook d6 or rook d7 is coming and his time is low and at least i have control on my time this time um let's start with rook d7 asking him a good question now just grabbing the pawn e6 is coming seven still e6 is coming easy win for me easy win also we should be always should be careful so simply king f2 three now i can use my bishop that's why he resigned As being beginner uh, in streaming, it's not that great to stream on um, not the great to stream on uh, chess.com because comparing to it on Lee Chess, at least I can like people can see me and they can find me. On chess.com, in terms of it, it's um, somehow not that great because like I read the. Uh, the regulation about streaming and like you should stream only on chess.com and also of course there are many i, I believe there are many streamers um, there are many streamers so anyway it's hard to to find me but i think uh, in uh, something i think like in a month probably can become better yes but actually for today it's uh, like i was considering that uh, having at least uh, one or two <laughs> one or two people here it's a good it's a good achievement because um actually when i was streaming um this how do they call it on leeches um also some kind of title at uh monthly tournament and uh, then of course um i had something like 15 20 people here but uh, there, there is good um, promotion on Leeches. Since today, nothing. So I didn't. 
Like, I, I, I actually, it's not like I didn't expect somebody to come. I thought that maybe somebody would be able to come somehow. Also, I don't really understand which way. So... At the moment, it seems like I have three viewers. Also, one of them is I myself. <laughs> so probably two, two viewers. Okay, let's go to chessboard. So this Verido Faleri is, uh, I know him, he's from Russia. And actually, uh, I read that uh, in, in news that uh, he won one of the previous title at Tuesday. This is, by the way, quite where to think about uh, title it. Title it Tuesday that there are many guys who, like, they okay, they more or less, more or less solid in chess, but still not about uh, winning the tournament. So just asking him a question: uh, if he going to, if he going for draw, he should uh, show something. Interestingly, why he doesn't want to play, or maybe he's still gonna find a way to continue. Next position is solid, but nothing special. So why did you decide to? By the way, what's your name? And why did you decide to uh, start playing chess? Because of Queen's Gambit or because of uh, the pandemic? He decided to play, but Bishop takes f6 is not that great, I mean, in terms of continue the fight. h6, okay, I'm not afraid at all. Um, because this pawn on h6 is not that great actually since he doesn't have protect the four is interesting don't really want to open up the position, on the other hand I don't really want to let him play in e5, also e5 maybe is not that, I shouldn't be anything specific for him. If I take on e4 then b7 would be hanging. Okay, let's open up the position and Make it easier. Now, simply queen. He cannot play rook c1, but he can do queen f4 probably. 
they can do in D8. The idea is to support C1 square. Don't mind to trade the rooks. So maybe it's not the great idea. More or less okay. <laughs> Queen d6 is coming. Just take and seven. Maybe even uh, at some moment placing this bishop to f8 would be interesting. This is exactly the moment. He can take on b7. I'm going to take on h6. And probably it's still nothing for both sides. He cannot push his pawns. He cannot do c4. So in quite, quite simple position. Potentially only white could face some problems here. So for him it's a good idea just to... Um, just doing nothing. Just waiting. For me, it's also a problem that I it's a bit hard to activate something because I have my extra pawn, kind of extra pawn here. Five, then maybe d6. I take. Well, obviously, after queen d5, it just draw. Queen b6, then he also can create some problems. So take. And. Uh, Of course, just draw. Nothing to do here. Okay, so flight is still good, but of course, uh, I don't really know. I'm not that uh, specialist about this title at Tuesday. Um, but I guess I don't even know. Now it's 11 rounds. If, if I don't mind, time to time, they had something like 10 rounds. So... Okay, 11 rounds, I need to score at least something like 9 would be a good uh, good score, pretty good score, I think. <laughs> also paying attention to my uh, result, I mean, not to my result, but to my play on uh, Saturday in tournament on Big Chess. Ah, Zach, so... Still, you played as a child, not like uh, you started like uh, unfamiliar with chess. And what is your main sport? Oof. Ah, indoors. Because I just wanted to ask if you are going somewhere to forest to do that. 
So you should be a strong guy. <laughs> Hello. I guess your account is bonus. <laughs> Speak Russian. So when will be the next round? Oh, good question. No, I think I just uh, played my, I finished my game quite, not quite quickly, but more or less quickly. And now we go for e5. This is a funny line. It seems like black is worse here, but actually black is pretty fine. Now I do this king e8 move. Because it, this is better version than uh, Philidor with knight on g8. Because f3 square is occupied by the pawn. And my knight on h5, uh, surprisingly, it's better than knight on h5. Bishop c5 doesn't work because of rook d7, probably, but I can uh, attack him with b5, probably. He decided to sacrifice, but okay, what's this? Ah. Not a bad idea. B8, I should play. Bishop A7, and I should play Rook. I know I should. So it's a good question which bishop is better to drop. Let's just play knight six. Actually, not force it to take on b8.
Actually, I just realized that he has... Uh, his rating is not that bad, 2900. <laughs> My position is nothing to be happy about. Do ninety seven. I expect knight c three. Then should play bishop a six probably. And seems like white is better. White is better, so something like draw will be good result for me here. G4, I'm not really sure if he needs this move. Doesn't look necessary because if he goes g5 i can place my knight to h5 at least h4 also not end of the world for me so you worry about he wants to do knight g3 probably develop this well that's seven The problem for me is that I don't really have any good play here. Let's do h5 and then maybe placing this knight to e8, maybe to h7, to e8 and then to d6. At some point he can push f4 and this is not something to be happy about for me. I probably missed bishop takes f7. Because my original plan was knight d6, and I don't know why didn't I play this move. Yes. Great. He's threatening bishop b5, something like that. I can build not like a fortress, but uh, something very solid here. And if I will be able to do that, then I'm not worse at all. My position is very solid actually. Maybe I am even better. Ah, bishop g6 blundering again. To be better, I should stop blundering and I could have taken this. E2, my idea. The threat was made on the first rank. Not an easy game, but lucky to 
Win it. Another thing which is I don't really like here, not here, but only chess as well, that uh, this is titled tournament, but uh, you don't really know who, who is your opponent unless you go to his page and then maybe still you don't know because there, there is no information about him. For example, even here you can see that this guy has name and surname. Portnik has a name. Uh, that's it among top 16 players at the moment. I oh, know, sorry, this is also Christopher Yu here. Because I know, for example, that this is Jeffrey Song, but still they use nicknames not uh... okay this is of course we know that Hikaru Nakamura but still but for example knowing uh, playing against them in person and so for example if I would be paired uh, against them here then example I maybe know what opening they play what I can play against them yeah I don't really want to waste my time of um, going to their profile to check if there is information who they are Having two, <laughs> two viewers is quite nice. A good plan would be to win the tournament and then it will be much easier to get viewers. <laughs> I think next round is coming soon. Well, for online tournament, um, it takes quite much time actually playing this title at Tuesday, since we did
Ah, no, we did. Now oh, it's just 45 minutes left, so no, it's pretty good. I just forgot that I started with warming up. That it's already one hour for 15 minutes, but actually just 45 minutes. For many rounds? Four rounds? Five minutes? We will be done in an hour. Something like 70 minutes left. So maybe also they have a break between rounds. So who gonna be my next opponent? quite good playing B plus one here because uh, recently I'm very slow guy especially with mouse not like something was uh, let's say like 17 years ago 17 years ago I was weak guy didn't understand much in chess, but I was really quick, fast, like these youngsters nowadays. So where is the round? Okay, go. So, Rasmus one. How this guy? Okay, so go D four. Power in e4 square, so next move I can do a3, then taking this, because if, if I would make it without queen c2 move, then knight e4, yeah, decent opportunity for black. Now it's a question if he wants to play e4 or not, because if he wants, then I cannot go bishop e2, e4, knight d2, then maybe he can do c6. So then g4 can be interesting, so let's try bishop e2. In case if we for my idea to play knight d2. Okay, and now I cannot castle, because if I castle, then e4 makes sense. So probably I should do... I should do a waiting move or I should make something more interesting. What? Maybe I should just take only five.
Just take one x5. Maybe taken by the knight is not that great idea for black actually, but okay, that's definitely a possible option. What to do now? If I castle, then he can do bishop g4. If I, I do knight e5, then still he can. Let's try h3 maybe. Or maybe it's not that great idea because he can take on f3. Bishop takes and then knight e4. But maybe after knight takes f3, I can take back with g2 pawn. Can be interesting. So it leads to double edged position. Um, still, I think white is definitely better there because I can place my rook to g1 and castle alone and maybe create an attack on the g file. It makes sense just to play something like knight g6 with the idea of knight e4, fighting for the e4 square. Uh, well, that's also a possible option. He wants to place his bishop to c6. Maybe I can try knight d4, stopping him a while. Makes sense this move. Attack c7 pawn. Checking what he gonna do. Here we can knight c3. The idea of five somewhere. The problem to be in time to castle at some point. Go to d2. Not the best move. Now I should. I don't have other option actually, so I should reform. If I castle, then bishop takes h3. There is no other convenient way to protect g2 pawn. Another problem that I cannot castle long because of knight a5. Tricky idea. Now it's something complicated and uh, the problem for me that I don't really have control over this position, over this situation. So it's not clear what to do. Not clear what, uh, where, to, which side to castle. If I can either castle or not, it's a good question. Just taking on g6 and castling long at least. So I don't really. F take g6 would be smart for him. So then I can at least uh, check him with queen d5. So going for safe position. And now it's fight who, who is faster in attack. My king seems to be better, but uh, still position is very complicated and it's not only about the kings.
it's a bad, bad thing I did, allowing him to trade the queens. Wars. Thundering everything. Having such a promising position, that's set of course. I can survive. Probably not terrible. I think I was winning somewhere. At least I was much better. Mm -hmm. FTA G6 just here, and that's it. Это рейтинги в интернете. Это не ID рейтинг. A really bad thing losing um, even not problem about losing winning position but uh, just being out of any danger and then blundering uh, something like few moves in a row It's a good thing that actually, um, comparing to my Saturday's play, today is definitely better. So maybe um, next Tuesday or two Tuesdays will be much better. Okay, win somebody. This is a tricky line uh, where 
Black's main problem is his bishop on c8. It's not that easy to develop this bishop. Also, maybe his idea to play b5 and place in the bishop b7. Maybe just open it. And otherwise, bishop can go to f5 or g4, but both squares are not that uh, convenient for the bishop. Because usually bishop f5 is met by knight g3, and bishop g4 uh, is met by f3. Um, it can be transposition from um, Queen's Gambit accepted e3, e5 line, or it's just actually French defense exchange variation. Yes, actually nothing good for me <laughs> at the moment. Um, F6, then I can go back because of this diagonal. But actually he can simply go for bishop e6, so something I did definitely. Definitely I did something wrong about. Okay, maybe I can take takes d5 and go with knight somewhere of my five that's asking him a question because he gonna play f6 okay bit, uh, this is possible in between move still still f6 of course i'll place my knight to f4 at least rookie one is coming and um, also, black, black is perfectly fine, no problems at all. So I need to, I need to do some trick here. Bishop f7. Now he's gonna play. Or problem, he is just in time to protect e file. Oh, actually, I blundered bishop g4, but I was lucky there is rook takes e7 and there is queen b3, so <laughs> there is everything up. <laughs> but knight f4 and h4, h5, placing knight to g6. The problem for me is that uh, black is just better. Okay, if he's gonna take on. Um, if he. Uh, I cannot even go knight d3 because I just moved h4. Uh, nothing great for me here. Worse position, actually. Maybe uh, we can wait a mistake from him. Because he's not going to take on g3. At least good player wouldn't take on g3. Now we're gonna. Oh. Beautiful tactical idea. So he. Ah, it's not. <laughs> yes, imagine how bad shape I am. I'm just. I just felt that I can take on h5 at least. <laughs> just. Missing that bishop is protecting, so I have only one move. Nothing good for me then. Nothing good, but maybe nothing bad, so just maybe draw. At least I can always give him perpetual. Oh, okay, he can go for bishop g6, queen f3, and taking on g3, taking on d3, and just queen's endgame, drawish. This is also a possible way, and now bishop g6. Um, if he wants draw, if he wants to play for something, then any other move. But any other move, it also leads to uh, chances for me. Well, yeah, for example, I can do h2 if I don't miss something. That's not what I'm sure about. Actually, he's quite bad on time. 
So maybe I can trick him somehow. Winning the game. So how to win that position? Good question. He trading the queens is good idea. Since I fixed his pawns. If he takes, I'm just uh, probably better in this game. Not probably, but better. Problem, I cannot do knight c5 because bishop d5 is coming, so I should go for knight f4. And another problem that I cannot really create something with my knight on the form. Head. I can fall. Thank you. That was good for me. Now I can place my knight to c5. Uh, the problem actually that even after that, ah, I can do knight e4, knight e6, nice maneuver. So this game I was lucky. Uh, obviously, if he would go for ah yes, by the way, maybe it's a good idea to to check the game a bit to to make it a, like a minute of silence between the games. Here he could uh, simplest way. Bishop g6, queen in three, bishop takes, queen takes, and then adjust any move. The a5, for example, not being fixed by my a5 pawn or any other move. It's okay, queen endgame, nothing to worry about for black. Also, even here it was fine before he decided to trade to trade the queens. Queen g3, then he can make any move. Queen d2, for example. I still cannot uh, move my pawns forward. I cannot uh, relocate my knight to a nice position. So actually, best thing, uh, like I think, according to the engine, best thing I can really do here is. Also, now I found nice idea: h5, knight g6, and then queen b8 with queen h8 made. But always he can play a queen h7. So the best thing I, I believe is g5, then takes, 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 queen c3, and actual check position. Um, unfortunately, this bishop is pretty good, so I don't think I can use it somehow. For example, knight h3. Um, because even after knight g5, king g6, g5, simply king g6. Okay for him, I have idea of queen h4, so I'm out of danger, but probably nothing better than perpetual check. Obviously this game I was lucky. About winning this game. Meanwhile, we can see that um, three players have <laughs> no time to think about something. So, who is this guy? He's Steven Zierk from California. So, I will try to beat your friend. This is my favorite tricky Sicilian. In case if opponent unfamiliar with this stuff, then uh, 
there are serious problems for him. The point that in this position, white usually castle long, then I launch attack on the queen side, and in case of short, short castling, then I attack on the king side. According to the engine, this position is bad for black, but um, we play against humans, so it's okay. It's always an interesting moment if uh, really black, white can place his knight to e4 because I can grab the pawn on e5. So in most cases it works. And there is another interesting idea which I gonna show you just the next move if uh, he will allow me to do that. moment of the true he allowed me to do allowed me to do that also idea is f5 very nice using the pin the problem that um, since he played knight e4 then he has knight d6 i can take take and queen b8 and still this position is funny and interesting to play uh, also no, then he has bishop takes e6, also I can do rook e8. Uh, of course critical thing is b knight takes e5, and that's a question if I can do that or not. Because knight e5, then maybe knight c5 is an option. Knight takes e5, knight e5. So very complicated position and um, unfortunately I don't know what the best thing to do. Let's go for f5. Knight d6 is forced. Of course queen on b8 is terrible. Uh, rook d6 is by the way is pretty bad idea because it doesn't really help. White, because uh, I hope that my point works that bishop e6 is a bad idea for him, and probably it is since he decided not to take. And here I can go for queen a8. Idea is to use the queen on this diagonal so he can easily cover it by playing f3. But then at least I can do maybe knight a c5, queen e5, and g5, and next move g4. Also, uh, he can also do kind of similar stuff here, so I don't really want to take on e5 myself. And then I'm no longer happy about my position. But okay, let's go for knight e5 and g5, and next move still we're gonna go for g4. Uh, a4 looks a bit slow, also maybe next move he can do, already can do a5, so maybe not that slow. Maybe actually nothing to be happy about for me. So let's go for g4. Let's fight. Also, maybe this fight is nothing good for me. And probably it is. Bad idea to do. Not happy anymore about my choice. Uh, terrible position. Is not happy at all. He can do whatever he can take on a7, he can take on c5, maybe even bishop e6 is fine, so whatever actually. My point is to open up the position. This is only chance to 
to survive. Also, survival is something not about this position. <laughs> position is terrible. Ah, actually, he did quite good. Now queen c5 is coming, and I cannot go king d8, so I should do this. And I think mate is coming, or something like mate. b7 is enough to win the game. This move maybe is not that strong. Also, probably still, even this move is enough. d8. Bishop takes d7 is coming. Maybe even rook takes d7 is winning in style. Bishop takes, queen c7, queen takes, pawn takes, king d8, bishop d7. And he has like a lot of uh, a lot of pounds there. White's position is completely winning. The problem that not uh, problem is not that he does extremely well, but I did like usually um, it works quite good for me in these uh, positions. Um, yes, I could have just uh, and I had to take on e5 with more or less equal position. Actually, knight f3 works for me. Seven and now B one or B takes C five. Thank you, complex. Actually, it's too late for good luck, <laughs> but maybe next week it will be better. I hope. So, by the way, what's your name? Hey Dave, and you are from United States? Um, UBHS, what do you mean about uh, 2680 rating? You mean over the board or... Because I actually... Uh, Actually, my high rating was 26.76, something like maybe four or five years ago. You have interesting questions. <laughs> no, I'm not Muslim. My surname actually is quite... Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, yes, my surname is... When uh, I, I used to play in Ara United Arab Emirates, at least before pandemic, because... Uh, and... Uh, like, I feel there myself very comfortable, but no, I'm not uh, Muslim and I asked my uh, dad if we have any anybody, but he said no, just... But yes, surname is not that... Uh, not that much Russian.
I lost 20 seconds because of this guy. So maybe, by the way, it's not uh, not that bad to have uh, not uh, not that many people as viewers, because um, being able to um, uh, moderate the chat, uh, probably I need some somebody to do that. But okay. Maybe not in this position, not exactly in this position, uh, but actually uh, it seems to be quite okay for black, nothing good for me. Uh, but the problem usually queen b3 is not played with uh, against bishop on g4, only against bishop on f5, since here it's just uh, online and um, leads, so I don't really care about what do I play as openings. Because here it's definitely nothing good for me. Go for example f3, then knight g3, and he can break in the center. Go f4. Here it's like I think I think this is just loss for me. So I'm I'm in tilt like Nepo. <laughs> I do rook f3 at least, knight e2, king e2. But anyway, it's nothing good, so boom. You can do knight f6, this is fine. Position is completely, absolutely terrible. F6, I don't really think that's a great idea, a wasting of time. I think he could win the game in easier way somehow. Now he can just double his rooks. Why didn't he do that previously? It's a good question. Why need he needs to do something he gets here at all? He could simply double his rooks on the h file, then I don't know, it's hard to deal with rook h1 idea. Now at least maybe I have some chances to survive. So I don't really like my knight on a5, it's terrible. And maybe finally we should give him a chance to do something by pushing d5, then c6, takes, takes, also nothing really great. <laughs> Uh, also, he wants to take, and rook h2 is coming. So rook h2 is not that dangerous. So this. No, oh, position is pretty bad because rook h4. Um, he can he can do rook h4. This is not something I'm afraid about. G7, by the way, is hanging. Replacing this rook to f1 would be smart idea. Then anyway, I cannot penetrate. So rook g1 then. Ah. 
At least I have a passive pawn, maybe not that bad. He's smart or could be bad. Probably it's bad because he can just go knight h5. I didn't thought about I didn't think about that possibility. Okay, it's time to play faster. Great news is that my king is evacuated. Another great news, I grabbed a pawn. Also still uh, king d7, king e6, black is black has no problems at all. Was was not smart. And do b5 hands okay, I need my to do some trick with my knight and go for my knight but then I can promote e pawn if at some moment I have knight b8 trick. I think this pawn endgame should be winning for me. At least I'm out of danger. Position. Thank you. But if you talk about this, uh, for example, <laughs> this is lost for me and then, okay, how to play for a win. Uh, just a few games ago, I was close to uh, to give up my queen for the opponent's bishop, which was protected and I didn't see that. But uh, what should I admit that today my shape is... My shape is better than on Saturday and I hope... But okay, he did what? Uh, he had perfect position, really great position. And uh, instead of doing wasting this time, knight f3, f6 is okay. And okay, why not to go for rook h7? I don't have a move. Rook h8 is coming. Okay, then actually rook h1 is not made, but uh, still just placing the rooks to h5, that seems to be quite natural. And here he could go for rook h4, just grabbing this pawn. He didn't see this opportunity. And I think here are already more or less safe. Maybe black is still better, but it's already not that uh, not that much. And okay, once again, just bringing king to the center. Why not? I played with uh, all my four pieces, he played only with maybe three of them. And then even here still king this play king d7, king e6, easy easy draw for black. Shouldn't be any problem at least because of his activity. And here of course. Here okay, here it's complicated, so not much to 
much to discuss. So what do we have as standing? I don't even know how many points I have. Maybe um, how many rounds we have? Eight rounds. So maybe I have. I hope I have five and half at least. I don't even remember what it. I lost two games and I drew one game. I guess I have five and half. Hello, Suspenser. I hope you are not uh, not another version of uh, who was it? UBHS. <laughs> this is all about psychology. It happens once. For example, you were you. We always feel that we were much better, and once everything um, went wrong. It's really hard to change our mind and not to regret about uh, what happened. <laughs> so where are you from? No, today's shape definitely is better and maybe it's just because of um maybe it's also because of uh, tournament system because here you don't need to play like like 100 games in a row like on leeches um also still i think today um i have less number of mistakes less number of blunders Maybe next week we will fight for something um, higher. We already have five viewers. That's very good. <laughs> for um, I mean, for the playing this on chess.com, where there is no promotion like only chess. Um, I think Nepo is already does he doesn't care <laughs> anymore. And actually, it's a good question if losing the match with let's say. Let's say, I don't know what score can be, maybe 8-3 is worse than losing the match uh, with score 7.5 uh, against 6.5. Uh, no, there is no such club. Actually, Nepal today, uh, if he would play, if he would go for this opening, starting for, uh, like from the start of the match, then maybe he would get some chances. Because just now he is in bed. Uh... <laughs> That's it. Um... Capella Grant was, uh, I, I think it was a dr drinking club. Because uh, as far as I know, all GMs who went to Capel Lagrand, they drink, uh, they drank uh, wine and so on. 
Actually, I haven't ever been to Capel de Grand. Somehow it happened like this. So about Nepo, if he would go for this opening starting from the match, maybe he had some chances. Because actually today he at least he got interesting position that possible to play. And actually, even uh, even in today's game, at some point after a3, he had the opportunity to push b4, which is not that obvious at all. But if uh, in case if he would be fresh, then why not? At least it's some play. It's not like this stupid uh, preparation one once again and again for games with white, uh, just uh, foiling them in in Rui Lopez. I mean, checking Rui Lopez maybe once, maybe twice uh, was enough. But definitely not going four times. And actually today, uh, once I saw the opening, I thought that he, he would get a chance. And he did. But uh, then, since, you know, of course, I understand what uh, he feels uh, because of previous games and so on. Um, just about his general condition. So I have better pawn structure, but uh, worse development. And uh, uh, I thought I could play a6 on the next move, but actually maybe it was a mistake. Because now after a6, he can do d takes c5. That's a problem. Then I had to do a6 previously. And if I go for c4, then he can do d5. So not much to be happy about. Let's do let's try e6. Still he wants to do d5, and if I go for a6, he can do d oh no d5 is not dangerous, so I can do a6. Now I can go for bishop c5. So it's a question if rookie one was a really useful move for him. Now probably I'm gonna trade the queens. So I mean, definitely e6 was useful for me, and uh, about him, it's not that clear. Probably better to trade the queens. At least on Saturday, it was always a good idea. I don't know what does he think about because rook d1 is obvious move to make. But then I can go to e4. Was Unclear what I think. Oh, well, not that great position as usually. The bishop is seven makes sense. Well, I mean, position is not that bad, but uh, maybe not that great in terms of playing for a win. To h6. Knight d6, I always don't mind. I, I'm happy just taking on d6, then I can do king e7, rook d8. So I have, uh, black has potential of uh, playing for a win here. D3 is a good one. Can I castle? I don't remember if I know. But, but also castling is not that great in terms of removing queen, king from the center. But what, what else to do? Let's castle. Actually, it's interesting uh, what uh, if uh, here there are just uh, like, let's say maybe three four viewers and only two three guys who 
who active in chat. So I wonder what's going on in uh, um, other channels that are already quite popular. Do they have any limits for messages or how it's how does it work? Aha, uh -huh. he wants me to uh, bad guy wants to go for bishop b6. Not happy about that. More chaotic. I think it's just uh, incredible <laughs> what's going there. So you mean they don't care about uh, what's going on on the board, yes? And uh, that's why uh, they have uh, many... Many subscribers. I don't know if it's something bad for me. Probably it is. He can just take on b7. Something. So after knight b7, of course, I can. Well. Go for e then five is also no him. Seems like something drawish. Maybe I can grab b3 pawn, then I will try to win this 4 against 3. Only question if I can do it somehow. Also another good question if like, I'm not going to lose this game somehow. This knight d5 is coming, so maybe I'm gonna grab the pawn. That's good news. I definitely don't need to trade the uh, rooks, probably. No. no, not definitely. I'm not really sure. Now I have this pin, so I have ideas of knight b7 at least. Ah, he protected his rook. So, what to do? Let move, of course, but. Didn't see a move. The idea G4 F4 is not that good actually. Placing pounds like that so they can be a target for me. Lander. Oh, King G3 and I will mate him somehow. But it doesn't work because of this, yes. <laughs> and winning on time eventually. <laughs> As here I was, I think I had good chances somewhere here. Maybe just I had to take on g5 and that's it. Simply h takes g5, if knight g5 then king g6, h4 is not that good. I can do king h5, knight g6 ideas and just uh, 
pushing the pawns if if h takes g6 then still king g6 and all i need is just to remove his knight still h5 is okay but not uh, only think not blundering this still h take g5 was easier and here i ah here i also could do king g4 just you can go for knight h5 but here i don't believe really it's still okay for him probably I cannot I cannot mate him somehow one and I cannot do king f3 because of rook takes e5 if I do knight d3 maybe he can even go for rook e3 first and knight g7 is also possible because after king f3 there is rook takes f7 check Okay, it should be at least something good. Something good for today. Oh, I forget to remove this thing. <laughs> no, he lost on time. But you didn't see. Uh, it's very. It de depends on the concrete position, but. Uh, with knights, four against three, uh, good chances to win. At least practical chances uh, in a, in a game is very good. Are very good. Maybe theoretically it's draw, but practically speaking, it's very uh, difficult. Okay, so playing against uh, Azerbaijan Grandmaster, Rebellion. Don't really know what he plays. Against d4, so. Seems so Indian. Why do they all play d6? Second game. They is d6. Let's try to do something new. <laughs> he switched for b6. I'm from Russia. So he wants to go for e5 and I actually cannot really do something something about that only thing i can do is to go for knight d2 and maybe to go for some attacking chess i mean if he goes for e5 sacrificing pawn on g2 then go rook g1 and let's have at least some fun today one one crazy game would be good hey maybe i can do knight g5 then h6 and h4 a6, you see, this is uh, something slow, I guess. I mean, I cannot really do something right here, right now, just by mentioning him. But a6 still not a move. Uh, like, what's his idea? To push b5, that's still slow. I can uh, just do, do nothing. I expected something like c5 or e5. And here I can do... Actually, I can do whatever. Only problem, how to continue my attack? That's a good question. It just to take, maybe, can I do d5? Does it give me something? Probably not really. Just, let's just take to win some time to, or this. Maybe I can do e4. No, e4, I don't like. But let's go for rook h3, placing this rook to g3. Maybe it's still at actually nothing for me maybe nothing good for me at all in this position he can do c5 it's not much to think about this is something he should make my idea to place rook to g3 and then maybe do something like knight h7 or, or something like that using this bishop i don't really see something 
concrete at the moment. He can actually, now he can actually even take on g5, and that's not that great. Knight h5 is a possible move. Stuck in my rook. Can I do... But he, maybe he... I can do bishop h7 at least. But he will go to f8. Yeah. But... 7 still, this is what I think about. This is what I really want to do. No matter what would happen. Idea is that after knight g3, probably I will go for knight h8, and then I have knight g6 fork, and so I will have time to grab back the knight. Queen h4, ah, queen h4, he cannot even do this because of knight g6. Um, so, position seems to be very promising if I don't miss something. Because where he should put his king. Another uh, important thing that after f take g6, we open up the f file. Yes, there is also d5 idea. Knight g6, I shouldn't rush with this move probably. I can do it after king e7 at least. Go for knight g6. Force it to do that actually. So maybe nothing, nothing good for me. <laughs> Usually, okay. Let's go for e4. My idea to push e5, and he cannot do e5 himself. Actually, the point that nice point that he cannot really do some activity. That's important. But he found the way. Actually, c5 is not dangerous. Then I can just take on c5. So it was just maybe winning some time for him. But his king is pretty bad still, and um, c5, d takes c5, knight takes c5, I have rook d6, that's important, I believe. Now I can just play king b1, maybe? No, let's go for bishop c3. Hold it. Oh, why didn't I go for e5? But then maybe queen f5. Still, e5 was an interesting option. But bishop c3 is very... Safe opportunity. Go for e5. If queen f5, I will go for queen e2 with the idea of rook f1. Well, I missed that he has this e4 square for his queen. That's I take. Doesn't really give me. That very promising position I had, but I missed queen e4 idea. My knights. What else to do? Work. Queen e4 is very sad thing. Is. Go for crazy thing. Queen b5. Also, maybe queen e4 was okay with some advantage for me. Is something free? After King D one, he even doesn't have any check. Well, incredible what to say. Protecting b1 square and activating my knight. Why can, couldn't I make a move? Bishop c2 was just great for me.
Oh. <sighs> what to say? I had some problem with mouse a few times to I couldn't make a move. And of course it was easy drawing the ends also. But somewhere I was just winning. I believe. <laughs> Yes, here his position is completely winning. Ah, queen e2. Here I could simply take on f5 with big advantage. Oh, and here very nice knight f8 move. Winning the game. Nice. Seven. It still was drawn. Ah. Okay, let's go. Uh, so it was. Ah, we have last round. That's sad because actually if I would have seven and half then I still were close. Playing against somebody from Russia. Probably white should take on c6, not allowing me to secure this knight. That's his choice. Knight f3 is also actually fighting with this knight on d4, but uh, now if knight takes d4, then maybe I can take back with the pawn. That's why probably he went for this one here. But now I can make it somehow in Volga style. He can only move his queen to b3. And maybe b5 can be interesting here. Actually, what else to do? Not b5. Okay, I can, actually I can do whatever, but okay, let's go for b5, let's, let's have some fun again. <laughs> now let's go for c4, placing knight to d3, maybe having queen b6 in mind. There are some ideas. And start, actually I can do both moves, I think. One is better, it's a good question. Let's start with queen b6, more tempting move, also knight d3 then will be threat, and I will be probably in time to take back the pawn then. Because if he takes on a6 or queen takes c4, then I go for knight f2. And he should take on f2 because otherwise I made him with classical combination. So I think uh, black is... Uh, Black is already winning here. Because any other move, I just take on b5 with great initiative. Maybe my best position for today, if maybe not count some uh, early rounds. <laughs> That's why he spent quite much time on position. I just have a great version of Volga Gambit. Um, also, of course, still we need to, to think how to how to use the advantage. That's not that easy. Actually. Knight g1, knight f3 was interesting idea, interesting manoeuvre. So, what can I do? 
Knight b4 is interesting. Attacking a2 pawn and maybe just grabbing it. <laughs> f5 could be interesting but then at some point he can do queen e2 that's not what i like and anyway he's probably his next move is queen e2 he cannot really do something else idea is to go for bishop e3 so what to do no rooks let's let's play this rook also maybe no i don't really like this move maybe at some point he can go for f5 so it was better to keep this rook on a fate. Maybe it's no longer fun for me. The idea to go for bishop is real. And just go, let's say, queen. Try queen b7, just asking him or what he gonna do because he cannot develop his bishop um, in d7 now well definitely at some point i did it cheap um four want to take on c1 and create in my passive pawn asking him a question which rook he gonna take now i can take here he can take on c4, but I can take c2. So, that. And the uh, only thing I hope not to get mated here because that looks now that looks really dangerous for me. I'm no longer happy about what happened and about some of my decisions. On the other hand, if queen f3, I can do bishop f6, and uh, that's it. And uh, no, not 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 that's it. <laughs> What time? Can do queen e8. That's really passive, but what to do? Pounds are very strong. Strong. Let's believe in power of my passive pawn. I doubt he has a way to stop it. I hope. I missed from such a winning position. I missed this chip. Also here I'm not winning, okay. No, actually rook b1 was not only um, not only move. Engine says that rook b8, rook a8, rook h2, everything is fine. <laughs> so nothing to be worried about. But of course somewhere here, yes, it was just minus two. And after queen f3, no bishop f6 is fine, g4. Ah, and rook b3. Yes, didn't see such a move. Rook b3, but actually not only move, even queen a8 is fine, g5, and ah, and simply bishop g7, just protecting f8 square. 
So, okay, not bad for today, I think. Um, last round, I guess. Jeffrey Song seems to be the winner. My score. And so actually here we see Durabelli. So if I would beat him and uh, win the last round. So this is somewhere I could be. But unfortunately... Well, actually, it's uh, first of all, it's blitz, and also it it depends on the um, opponents that you play against because um, players have different different opponents. For example, here we can see Andreikin, who is very strong as well. Maybe we can find somebody here. Also, maybe we can find some guys who are not that strong and they are somewhere here. Actually, don't really see such guys. <laughs> um. I don't really play title at Tuesday. I don't even know what... Uh, what word to say, uh, not like often, but I really, uh, for maybe overall I played something like, you no, know, maybe 10 tournaments for last, uh, you know, three, four years. Um, I'm not uh, sure it can be another number, but uh, I'm not big fan of these tournaments because um, I see time to time that uh, some uh, not uh, strong pl players, they win. And also, I was uh, once I was upset about um, like um, I had maybe two out of two, and then I lost the game to somebody like to somebody twenty two hundred who played quite strong. So I and uh, this is actually uh, many other players they admit the same thing that um, there is. Uh, cheating in such tournaments so you never know who do you play against and uh, furthermore i can say that even uh, you, you probably know about these tournaments where carlson participate in like online um, rapid tournaments so they even there they suspect like also they're only that tournament they only for really for elite players or somebody who close to there and even there they suspect a few guys so what to and also there they have guaranteed money and so on so what to say about this tournament there there are just i don't know five six prizes so here i mainly uh, first of all i just started uh, streaming and uh, i hope to I hope to develop my skill in this area. And another point that uh, I'm going to I'm going to participate in World Rapid and Blitz Championship in the end of this year, starting from December 26, I believe. Um so I decided I need some practice because I really feel like my my energy level at the moment it's something like if let's say zero is here, Zero is here, so my level is exactly on somewhere here. <laughs> if we talk about my energy level, and so I didn't practice any any tactical things and anything. But actually, it's good that for to prepare for such a world rapid and bleed championships, you in fact the only thing you need is to maybe to solve some positions to 
maybe to practice a bit, to play some training games, and that's it. It's a good thing that you don't need to learn any openings, any, any stuff like that. But at the moment I feel myself uh, not that great in terms of um, fighting for something there, but I still have have something like almost three weeks. Yes, uh, more energy would be fine, but the problem that uh, in Russia nowadays it's winter and it's uh, like yesterday it was minus 20. So it's not something you would like to go out and uh, and to have fun. But maybe yes, maybe you are right. I need more. Uh, yes. So this is quite logical from what I said that I need energy. But another good question is how to get this energy. Also, still we need, of course, to maybe to practice a bit to solve some positions. And um, so I will be I will be playing uh, next week and the week after, I believe. Here in title it Tuesday, and then maybe I still will continue to do that. Because I hope to increase uh, number of my. I, I don't really care about followers and these subscribers. I don't uh, I don't really understand that much about Twitch at the moment. Uh, but just uh, some viewers to have here and maybe to talk a bit, have fun. So then I think that's enough for today. Had I even played some uh, interesting games actually i i was upset about losing two i'm upset about losing two games against this one against durai belly because i was winning and also another one against uh uh oh, what I forgot his name german grandmaster ah, rasmus swan yes because elsa had great position so wasn't not that bad today I think it will be better in next weeks. Well, then that's it for today. And uh, uh, what do we mean? Times in Twitch are changing. <laughs> uh, yes, of course, uh, but um, yes, the point that many have started to stream uh, once pandemic, yes, uh, because of pandemic, and um, but I'm okay. I think I can do some. It's not like something I can do something exclusive, but. Uh, I feel myself quite comfortable uh, among players, among uh, I mean among strong players. Let's say among grandmasters who can talk and who can uh, <laughs> like uh, say. Let's say at least uh, maybe to joke a bit, maybe uh, like having good uh, uh, look. Let's say. So I feel myself quite uh, competitive uh, about about that. Because it would be easier to stream in Russian, but uh, I think uh, in English it's uh, there is more auditory, and uh, especially for Twitch, I think in Russia it's still not that popular. So I will continue doing it in English. By the way, uh, how old are you? It's also a good thing to to know the statistics. What uh, <laughs> what age of my um, 
viewers. Ah, okay, so probably more or less same uh, level, um, same age diapason as uh, I myself. Okay, I'm 32. I think I'm too old for for young guys, but not but too young for old guys. <laughs> so somewhere in the middle. Okay, thank you for watching and uh, see you next Tuesday if you will be there because probably i will good luck bye to everybody